Before the media circus goes off the rails, we need to figure out how these people died. Or were killed. It's possible the heart attacks were chemically induced. Checked and ruled out. Any connections between the 12 passengers? None. All strangers seated in different parts of the plane. It's very freaky. Where are the surviving passengers now? Detained. The authorities can hold the passengers for 24 hours before either pressing charges or letting them go. We have until tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Or it's possible the killer walks free. I'm sorry, can I just play Captain Obvious for like a sec? We have 12 victims. There's no way we can stitch into all 12 in 24 hours. OK, so how many can we stitch into? If we don't take any breaks, we can do six. But which six? By the time we background check them all, time will be up. It has to be random. OK, hold up. Slow down. I, I understand the urgency, but just because it is technically possible to stitch into six victims in one day does not mean Stretcher can handle it. What is that? Reverse psychology to get me motivated? No, it's a legitimate concern for your mental and physical health. Cameron is right. 12 people don't just die. If there's a cause, a, a killer, this is the only way of finding out. I can do this. Any sign that it's too much, we pull the plug. Agreed. Well, you heard the lady. Let's get going. It's going to be a long day.